Bust my balustrades! Well done, Captain Threepwood! You've conquered the Fugu Jalokia and have won the right to keep it as your own. I love a clean living in a healthy co. Oh. I probably got permanent glossal damage, but it was totally worth it to get my hook on that pepper. I think the sponge doesn't have a tongue, or I'd be dunking it in the ocean right about now. Ouch! The mysterious chest of foreshadowing from the Voodoo Lady's shack. Who knows what sort of useful voodoo bric a brac lurk in its locked timbers? And more importantly, how am I gonna unlock it to find out? Let's see, what do I have now that I didn't have the last time I tried to open this chest? Ow! Stupid hook! Oh, it can't be that easy. tarot cards? That's it? I bent the fabric of reality for a stupid fortune teller's trick? Okay, that's a pretty good trick. Looks like there's a few cards missing, but I'm sure there's enough precognitive mojo in these babies to count as a sixth sense course. Hopefully these flakes of the future will give La Esponja a sixth sense that'll help keep me from getting into situations like this.
I wonder if La Esponja Grande can sense the future now. And how would it tell anyone if it did? Yo! Ooh. Ooh. Tingly. Well, hey, what's this? Ah, so that was the shocking dessert. Right, Senor Esponja Not So Grande. That's five senses down and one to go. Now, where can I find a really big sound for an after-dinner belch? Well, there's only one thing on Flotsam Island that can make a noise like that. Immortality. <laughs> Who will live forever, moi? Who will connect to moi? I will live forever. I immortality. Ha ha! Ah! Face me like a man, you snuff sniffing land licker! You heard the lady de singe. Guybrush, get out of here and find your own treasure. This one's mine. Ah, the happy Threepwood Pirate Clan. <laughs> Whatever shall I do now? Oh, I know. Oh, clam dip. Ha! I can't believe I ever married a dullard like you. You know, once I cure you of the pox that's making you say all these mean things, you're gonna owe me a lot of smoochies. I wouldn't smooch you with his lips, cabin boy. <clears throat> I hate to break up this portrait of domestic bliss, <laughs> but I've got some last-minute adjustments to make to my machinery before preparing the charming Madame Threepwood for her journey into scientific history. Don't worry, Buttercup. Once I get La Esponja Grande into that noisy doohickey, our troubles will be over. Mm, yes. Well, please try to keep it down, no? At least I hope so. Hey, De Winge. That's De Singe. Whatever. What are you doing to the wind control device? It sounds like it's about to explode. I'm so glad you asked. You see, using my ambient apsychronotone in conjunction with my oscillatoscope to seek out the resonant frequency with the Vecalian climatophone, I hope to anatomize living tissue on a macroscopic basis. Does... Did you run through the purpose of all this machinery again? Messiah, I'm going to use this machine to make that machine smash people into a fine powder. Oh. Hey, that's not very nice. All right, Destrange, you've got me where you want me. Now let my wife go. You? <laughs> I don't want you and your pathetically puck-free body anymore. <laughs> your wife, on the other hand, is teeming with this special Threepwood strain of the pox I need to create more of my jus de vie. Let me get this straight. You don't want me anymore? Not in the slightest. It's your wife's juicy strain of the pox that fuels my scientific longings now. I've got your juicy strain right here, bucko. You'll pay for what you did to Morgan, you fiend. I already did pay for her services. A big sack of silver, as I recall. Not for that. For killing her. <laughs> Pirates and Pirate hunters. Your kind always seem to meet an early demise. Good riddance. I saw you run out of the lab after you murdered her! Of course I ran out of my lab! There was blood all over the floor, instead of being packed neatly in piles where it belonged. I still think you murdered Morgan. Oh, the mighty pirate thinks I murdered his friend. However will I live with the shame? What's my hand doing up there on that turban? Your end is nobly sacrificing the last dribs and drabs of its wondrous box to supply me with enough death-defying Jew de Vie to keep me intact until I spread your wife's box across the sea. That little fellow looks horrible. Sadly, yes. I suspect he will not survive. Oh well, tell is Jew de Vie. So, why a turban? Shouldn't you have a beret or some other French chapeau? French? Whatever gave you the ridiculous idea that I'm French? But, um, I mean, I just kind of assumed... <laughs> what, the nerve of some people? <laughs> what the heck is that thing supposed to do? 
This is my Archicronton, which I can use to remotely manipulate the Vecalion's wind control device without all that tedious mucking about in the jungle with ancient idols. Can't say I blame you. All that running and spinning and weather did get on my nerves after a while. 